You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing a, uh, a list of sorts. We're going to be going over the match of the year. Yes, our top five matches of the year. Yes. So, well, let's get it started. All right. Number five, the men's Money in the Bank match. Yes. Um, they actually uh, they did a good job with this one. Yeah. Um, there was a good build where, you know, it kind of took some storylines that were going on and, you know, threw them Completely together. Completely, th- yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, because yeah. AJ was feuding with Owens, uh, Owens at mm-hmm. the time. Right. And I guess, I think Owens was the U.S. champion. Mm-hmm. And it's not very often that you have um, champions getting involved in the Money in the Bank match. Right. Um, so the, that storyline came together. I think Dolph Ziggler was feuding with yeah, so Corbin. Yeah, so this was what? AJ, Ziggler, Corbin, Nakamura, and Owens? Yes. Yeah. Um, or was it nakamura and ziggler and then corbin was kind of just there oh yeah i think yeah corbin i mean uh nakamura and corbin i thought was no it was before it, SummerSlam it was, between money in the bank and SummerSlam? no it was before summer uh, before money in the bank and mm-hmm. then it continued afterwards okay um, oh that's right right they took a, yeah yeah mm-hmm. so um but it, it was good because they built a lot of uh, tension between Corbin and uh, Nakamura. Nakamura. Yeah. yeah oh, and Ziggler was just there. Mm-hmm. That's what it was. Right. Yeah. Because yeah, well, you said that Corbin had atta- attacked Nakamura before the match. Yeah. And oh no, that's how the Corbin. Nakam- that's how it started. Okay. Yes, yes, that's yes. how it started. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. That, yeah. yeah. That and, makes and sense. And before then. the match, like we said, uh, Baron Corbin attacked Nakamura, mm-hmm. leaving him out or making it seem like he wasn't going to be yep. in the match at all. Um. And then about halfway through, he comes out with his music, yeah. and then you're like, oh, he's going to win this yeah. right now. You know, this brought us to one of the bigger moments of the year when we had AJ Nakamura face off. That, yes. That got that a was, huge reaction. That was, that was big. So, um, which we're still hoping that becomes a WrestleMania match, if not this year, at least. It's, yeah, it, it's definitely possible <laughs> In the possible near future. Year. Yeah. Um, and then... Uh, Kevin Owens again showing his affinity for going through ladders or trying to break them with his mm-hmm. body. Um, the, the the amount of stuff that it was a lot of good yeah, it was good crazy. spots. He, it's just him him in ladder matches is just <laughs> just so great. Yeah. Um, but yeah, with, not not much to say. High quality talent in, in the, the in only the bank problem match. with it is the way that the cash in ended. Yeah, but, but you can't fault the match for that one. It's true, and it also happened, or they figured out what they were going to do way after it happened. Mm-hmm. So, but uh, anyway, yeah. So number four, the SummerSlam Universal Title match, yes. which was Brock Lesnar defending against Samoa Joe, Braun Strowman, and I forget. Really? <laughs> yeah. It's Roman. Oh, it's Roman. That's right. Like, how did you forget? I forgot the guy that took the pin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, did he? Yeah, he took the pin in oh, okay. Lesnar. Yep. Um, but but yeah, this was another good match. It was a lot of spots going on. Yeah. Um, um, Strowman power slam Lesnar through what the table three, two, two na- ta- announce tables right, and then he went for a third one, but I think he got speared or something. Maybe yeah, because Lesnar got carried out on a stretcher, and it was kind of similar to uh, the Money in the Bank match where he came out what three quarters through the match and ended up winning. Money in the Bank match. It, like when Nak- Nakamura oh, oh, coming oh, 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 out. Oh, oh. Yeah, okay. yeah. Lesnar like, came out. I'm like, I don't remember yeah. Lesnar doing that. <laughs> no. That was SmackDown yeah. pay-per-view. But so, huge spots good uh-huh. all throughout the match. It was just entertaining. You know what the big part about this one as well was this it had actually a very good build. Yeah. Oh, because absolutely. Because it was a very brutal build up between mm-hmm. the three of them. Obviously, Lesnar wasn't around very often. No. Um, and then, uh, so yeah, it was, it was a, a solid match. Lots of good spots, very mm-hmm. brutal, um, and it was a it was a very good way to end the second biggest pay per view of the year. Yep, yeah, with a match that I mean, it, it had all the components all, to be a good match. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. it was good. Um, but yeah, so that brings us to number three: the Usos versus the New Day in Hell in a Cell. Yes, um, we've we talked have, about this match. Yeah. Through and through. Yeah, we uh we put the New Day versus the Usos as our feud of the year, mm-hmm. so it's kind of stands to uh to expect that at least they'll be on here once. Yeah. Um, this this match was great. You don't really see tag team Hell in a Cells very often. No. 
um and just I still think this was the first one but maybe not i no, we already know that it wasn't because yeah. we looked it up i it, thought we I thought it was, it was like it was like uh dx oh no there was i know for a fact that dx versus legacy happened oh okay okay i because I, I remember that coming up very good um anyway so uh but yeah this was it was very brutal which isn't something you really see from tag team matches too much um no, they yeah. They had Xavier Woods getting like trapped in, like in the corner with kendo sticks. Yep. They they tie, they handcuffed him to the turnbuckle mm-hmm. and he was just hanging there getting hit with yep. the kendo sticks. Biggie <sighs> doing his suicide dives into the cage. Oh man, that was such a good match. Yeah, it was built very well. That's and, what it and was. And you didn't know who's going to win. Nope. There was no And that's 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 always my favorite thing. Yeah. Is the you don't know the surprise. Outcome. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. So good. Yeah. That brings us to number two. John Cena versus AJ Styles at the Royal Rumble. Yes. The what, the third meeting that they had? Yep. Um or the third and one on one meeting. Yeah. <sighs> so good. Yeah, this is a very good match. I obviously AJ is one of the best wrestlers in the world. Mm-hmm. And Everyone craps on John Cena for not being a great wrestler, but you know he just—I I think it's more of he just knows how to step up when he needs to. Yep. And he knew this was a big match, absolutely, on a big stage for a big—you know—it was the WWE title on mm-hmm. the line. And it, did this main event the show? Or no, this was before the Rumble. This was right? before the Rumble. Yeah. I always and, forget they always change it around. Yeah, they they never do it the same way. No. Um, all right, how much you want to bet? And I know this is irrelevant. How much you want to bet the yeah. Women's Royal Rumble opens the show? There's definitely a possibility yeah, I, of that. I, I'm almost positive of that. Or, <laughs> or it's going to be on the pre-show. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, but this is just such a great match. Uh, they took everything that they did at SummerSlam and, four months earlier, mm-hmm. and they just did it so much better. Uh, it's just, oh, man. Yep. I love watching these two wrestle. They Which have, is funny, because this is number two. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but just... Well, because number one is a completely different animal. It's true. Um, but it's just the two of them work so well together. Um, you would think- Yeah, after that first match, I was very worried about where it was going to go between them. And then yeah. once John and AJ got on the same page, yeah, it was, strapped a it rocket was, to it. and It was nuts. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was just that Royal Rumble show was really mm-hmm. a good show. Even though AJ lost. It doesn't matter. It didn't matter. It was a big... It was a big match for John. Mm-hmm. Big he, match, John. Yeah. He won his 16th <laughs> world title. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a huge match. Exactly. I that, mean, and I just remembered my favorite part of the whole thing mm-hmm. is that it? when they showed the, the video, mm-hmm. there's that picture of that guy's face, the sign. You remember that? The <laughs> yeah. one that's showing right before. Because it was like a, a like a guy making a weird face. Mm-hmm. And we were talking about it like the entire show. <laughs> And now every time they show a clip from his 16th <laughs> World Championship, there's the picture of that face uh, sitting there. Good stuff. Good stuff. It's good stuff. Yeah. Um, so, but yeah. That brings us to number one, Pete Dunne versus Tyler Bate for the UK Championship at TakeOver Chicago. Yes. Um, I said this is a different animal yeah. because it is. Yeah. What, the the UK stuff, or specifically... Um, tyler bates matches Mm -hmm. they're not like they're not wrestling matches like wwe style no absolutely not it's like he's actually putting on a show instead of pretend fighting right that's that's what's going on. right yeah yeah between Um, the showmanship that he's able to pull out of because the strength the man oh man he's incredible yeah yeah um because i've seen pete dunn wrestle other people Mm -hmm. he's good but he's not the same as tyler bate um in terms of the you will get people that argue with you no no i'm not saying quality of wrestler (laughs) i'm saying Mm -hmm. the the type of like wrestling you know what i mean oh because tyler bate is the one who brings the entertaining Mm -hmm. stuff oh yeah absolutely um so and just i enjoy watching that so much like he had a very good match with um jack Gallagher on nxt Mm -hmm. when they first came over yeah um it's just it's just such a like an entertaining show, and it, again it, go, it goes to the unexpected or mm-hmm. the well. I mean, it, it's also a big factor that I've talked about time and again is when two guys know each other in and out. Yeah, it's always puts on a fantastic showing. They had the main event to crown the UK champion, 
mm-hmm. which was Pete Dunne, Tyler Bate. Yes. And that was a fantastic match. That whole tournament was so good. They, they've wrestled each other many a time yeah. this year. Yep. And every time it's always enjoyable, but this one was the one that stood out. Yeah. Um, but again, a very unexpected, or not unexpected, but like you didn't know what was going to happen. There was a lot of mm-hmm. back and forth. As we said, Tyler Bate and both of them pulled out everything they had. You know, they you could feel the emotion in the match, which is another big thing. Right, yeah. And, you, and they gave it a long time. Yeah, that, they feel like they really, like, want it. Mm-hmm. A lot of the, or not a lot of the times, but there's some times where you, like, can kind of feel like it's not, like, the wrestler isn't all mm-hmm. in. Yeah, so. no, no, these guys are just going balls to the wall, basically. Yeah, so. Yeah. But it, it was a fantastic mm-hmm. match of an already really good pay-per-view, actually. Yeah. Or a, a takeover. But Whatever. we kind of expect that from takeovers yeah. that they're gonna be very uh, very high quality at yep. this point in time. That's true. So uh, uh, so yeah. yeah, that was our top five feuds of 2017. No, it wasn't. It was matches of 2017. There you go. Top five matches of the year for 2017. There you go. Yeah. If, if you liked what you saw here, <laughs> please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.